Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day. Today is Wednesday, which means it's Worldview Wednesday. And the question on the table today is, what is absolute truth? Absolute truth means that whatever is objectively true is true for everyone, everywhere, at all times. In Christianity, it claims that God reigns over all truth, that His Word reigns over all truth. For example, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Paul grounds the resurrection in two things. The first ground for belief in the resurrection of Christ is that the scriptures said it would happen. The second ground for belief is the historical eyewitnesses of Jesus Christ after the resurrection. So if you were explaining the resurrection and trying to get someone to believe in the resurrection, which one of those proofs would be the first one you talk about? Well, for me, it would probably be the eyewitnesses. Can you believe that over 400 people saw the resurrected Christ? That's okay to a certain degree, but I want you to notice what Paul appeals to first. His first appeal is to Scripture as his basis of truth, of absolute truth. How does Christianity claim absolute truth? Well, traditional Christianity or Orthodox or classic Christianity claims that the Bible states that Jesus is the way, the truth, the life over all of life. That no one at any time at any place can come to the Father but through Christ. Classic Christianity claims that all those outside of Christ will go to hell. Classic Christianity proclaims a certain sexual ethic that is true for all people at all times. And all people everywhere from all time will be judged according to biblical truth because truth, by definition, is absolute. Always true everywhere. Today when you pray, please pray for Thomas Mobley and his family, our missionaries in Oklahoma. And also remember the Tagalog Life Word broadcast that's heard in the Philippines.